Hey everyone, my name is Emily Jackson and I'm the brand manager for Jackson Kayak Whitewater, but most importantly, I'm a mom. And today I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I like to do to get my kids out on the water and just to have fun as a family which at times can be kind of challenging when it comes to whitewater and children. So I'm gonna go through a couple pointers to help get you out there, not only just to get there, but to make sure that once you're there, everyone's having a great time. Before we continue, I just want to say thank you to GoPro. GoPro is one of our global partners and makes capturing those epic family moments, photo and video, super easy. So thank you to GoPro and let's get back to the video. When approaching the kids and kayaking, I think it's really important to make sure you treat it like a pool toy. The idea is to make sure that they're having fun. If you're not gonna have them enjoying the process of learning how to kayak, then for me personally, I'm not sure why we would do it because in the end, we all go kayaking because it's fun. Some ways that you can do this are one, playing games. You know, make it less about what they're trying to learn in kayaking and have that growth and the learning mentality come through the games that you're introducing to them. Before we talk about gear, there's a couple things to consider when getting your kids out on the water, and that's environment. So I like to look for a very controlled environment for taking my kids out. So either flat water or a nice big eddy, somewhere that I'm confident that I can make sure that they feel good in the water and I'm not stressed out. Ducker, what's really important when it comes to kayaking? Make sure you have the right gear. When it comes to selecting paddles, go with one a little smaller. If the paddles are a little too long and too heavy, the kids' arms are gonna get tired early and they're not gonna be having as much fun. We use something as small as like a 185, this nice lightweight Werner paddle we've got here for the kids. Um, but anything that's small enough uh, just to make sure that they can reach the water, but also make sure that it's nice and light so that way their arms aren't getting worn out when they're trying to move the boat around. He wears the helmet. Helmets can go just about any way. Tucker here loves his suite. He's had it for a little bit. It's a super safe helmet. Um, but bike helmets work. Just about anything works on the water. Just make sure it's not a material that absorbs water, because uh, sometimes you see that in some helmets, so the helmets get really heavy. So a water helmet, sweet helmets is good, WRSI. Look for something that's snug and fit and doesn't rock back up on their forehead. Hydration is key when getting the kids out on the water and making sure that they're not hungry. Nothing's worse than getting down to the water and having hungry or dehydrated or just tired kids in general. So set yourself up for success by making sure that you either bring snacks and water with you or make sure they've had a lot of both. The other thing to keep in mind is the kids really feed off of your energy. So try not to be impatient. Things are gonna be a little slower than you anticipate, but also make sure that if they're feeling nervous that you just feed them good energy and confidence. So that way they can have the confidence they need to grow with their paddling. 